You can't start a Halloween story without talking about the full moon, right? You know, every Halloween image has a full moon eerily hanging over. You just want to cue the black cat and the werewolf. Or, or maybe that was a coyote. I'm not sure. You know, whether it's a full moon or ooh, maybe it's a blood moon. I mean, this is actually a real thing. It happened about a year ago. It's when you have a full supermoon and a lunar eclipse. We don't have that this year. We actually have a new moon, which means it's going to be very dark this Halloween night. And this guy, uh, he needs a hand. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's the reason why that guy needs a hand. All right, so I feel like in this graveyard, they're trying to tell me something. Something's, hap something's happening here. This guy either wants to dance or maybe he needs a hug. I don't know, but either way, I feel like something is happening in this graveyard. Do you? I mean, it's eerily calm. I hear no rustling of the leaves and the trees. We've got clear skies overhead, something near the ground. Light winds, clear skies, something's rising up from this graveyard. Something's rising, and it's not just the spirits. Actually, on a night like this, this is the perfect night for heat to radiate back up to the sky at night. This is the classic scenario for radiation fog. You know, the air starts rising, it's going up, there's nothing to stop it. And as that air rises, it cools to the dew point. Thank you, dew point, Dennis. It cools, it condenses, and all of a sudden you get a blanket of fog that is just covering these graves. On this spooky Halloween night, a blanket of fog tucking in these spirits.